So I think we should start in in this sort of discussion, asking what is science? At ATAR, we're focused on new pathways in immunology. At the end of the day, what we're trying to do is to manipulate the DNA to basically provide a fix. That's a case where we say you have a broken gene, we put it into, in this case, your stem cells, we give it back to you, and it goes to your bone marrow, and then it gets produced. Primary focus of cognition has been on novel compounds to treat neurodegenerative diseases, and particularly we focused on Alzheimer's disease. At Editas Medicine, we are working on what's called genome editing, and the particular technology that we work on is called CRISPR, and it's, it's fascinating because it's a pretty young technology we're really interested in is can we use fewer or in many cases no opioids to control post-surgical pain. We are famous for zinc finger gene editing but we're expanding what we do to include both gene editing, gene therapy, cell therapy. Specifically Sutro is working on antibody drug conjugates which are a combination of a targeting agent and antibody that goes specifically to a tumor cell with a toxin that is attached to it. It's kind of a smart bomb for cancer therapy. In San Diego, we're going to have something like 17,000 of the smartest scientists and entrepreneurs from all over the world who are going to be talking about and unveiling some of the most exciting breakthroughs in biotechnology. There is a growing amount of evidence that the operating room is the gateway to the opioid epidemic. If you could make a local anesthetic last longer, that would be a huge advance in patient care. Our primary approach right now is looking at a novel, small molecule that we believe can impact one of the key causative agents of Alzheimer's, something called A-beta oligomer. And if that works the way we think it works, we believe we can help restore learning and memory to patients who are declining due to Alzheimer's disease. You can have mistakes in DNA that lead to really serious diseases, genetically driven diseases. CRISPR is a tool that lets you go in and repair those genes, repair the broken genes at the level of DNA. From our perspective, a breakthrough is something that has a meaningful difference to patients. I think the theme of breakthroughs is important. The theme of innovation is even more important in that context. A breakthrough is in the eye of the beholder and, and uh, a breakthrough isn't just one piece. So this year we'll be the first company to do in vivo gene editing. We will put a new gene into somebody's liver. Scientifically, we're on the cusp of really some great breakthroughs in cancer, and there are a number of other scientific advances that are really coming to the forefront in 2017. For me, a breakthrough at the end of the day is a product on the market that cures people or makes their life better. I think the biotechnology community is incredibly optimistic right now. We, we know we're on the verge of all kinds of breakthroughs. Every day and every week, there's something that comes up where we look at one another and we say, well, nobody's ever done that before. So not just have we not done it, nobody's ever done it. You're doing something no one's done before against all the odds, and your hope, your expectation is success. If this works, this is one of those holy cow moments. We are at the dawn. Not high noon, but the dawn of a whole era of medicine. At the same time, we're, we're worried. We're worried about what, could, what Congress and the president could do in terms of bad policy. The Bio International Convention is the one place where the entire industry gets together to meet uh, once a year. And all of a sudden, the whole field of biotechnology explodes because you have brilliant people talking to other brilliant people. And this is a constantly changing industry. If you're not there, you really don't know what the greatest and latest advances are. The Bio Convention is a place where you can see all of the aspects of biotechnology at once and how much it impacts every aspect of our lives and, and will continue to. One cannot succeed on one's own. You have to partner, and, and it's, it's almost creating the right ecosystems. To potentially inking a partnership that could help your company. Whether we're government affairs, or we're business development, or we're patient advocacy, there's a tremendous amount of interactions where we can go and we can engage and learn. I think bio helps us all get together and understand all of those kinds of things and makes it possible, actually, because we learn how to fund, we learn how to lean on each other to get through certain problems. Every year we try to get very exciting uh, speakers to our convention, and this year I'll be interviewing David Cameron, the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. We're also excited to have Ann Romney, the wife of Mitt Romney, who suffers from multiple sclerosis. If biotechnology is important to you, you need to be at the bioconference in San Diego. You could say that the purpose 
of science is to make order prevail. This is the future of, of science in our lives. To make good prevail over evil. I think we contribute enormously to the benefit of, of mankind. We can make a fundamental difference. To make life prevail over death. Maybe five or ten years from now, this company will have played some role in helping other people not to have to face an Alzheimer's disease. If you want to see what's absolutely the cutting edge of biotechnology, come to San Diego.